All right, I'm back. I went ahead and I, um, that's the ground beef. Um, here's the, I grabbed three more tomato sauces and um, I have different beans so I'm thinking why don't I make it a variety. I have black beans and red beans in there. And I think I'm adding northern beans. Why not? As a cook, you can do whatever you want. So, I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And this one, it doesn't have a lot of liquid in it. Let me scoot it back. And I have bacon in it too. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in here. Because beans are good for the family. We need more beans. I'm okay with that. There's that. Mix, 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 mix. So we got three type of beans in here. <laughs> and then I'm going to add another tomato. And what I'm doing right now is just kind of eyeballing it. I'm trying to make a meal more than what it is. Especially like put more fillers in it. The reason why is because I have the, um, the meat. After the meat, I can't add on to it. If I, I could, but I can't because I don't have any more. So I'm going to put some more in here. I'm going to add some salt in here too. And you can do it all to taste. I'm telling you what I'm putting it in. But you definitely can do it to taste. I'm going to go ahead and put in half a teaspoon of salt. You can always put more in. You can put less in. But never put in too much because it's hard to... You definitely can fix it. You just have to put in more liquid and stuff. But, you know. So let me go ahead and get the ground beef. Yeah, that's broken up a lot more. So let me show you. See it? You really can't see it. You'll see it when I'm dumping it in. It's really broken up really well now. So you can see me when I'm pouring it in. I'll take it out with my hand crumble it so you can see. Eek, some fell. That's okay, I'll pick that up. So let me just dump it on in there. There we go. Pinch this. And let me give it a, a good mix. This is going to be our chili. And it is, not that it's watery, but it's watery to my taste. I like it to be a little, let me show you. Can you see what it looks like? It's chilly. It smells really good. And it looks nice. So for this right here, I think I want to have it a little thicker. So I'm going to cut it up to medium high right now. And that's because I want to hurry and get it. Because again, I told you, everyone's hungry and they're ready to eat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my stock, and you definitely can use water. I'm pouring it in one of the containers, and I'm just going to put a little bit of flour in it. Let me zoom it in. Zoom out a little bit. What I did is I put a little bit of stock in it. Let me look at the camera so you can see what I'm, I can see what you're seeing. I didn't put a whole lot in there, like maybe one-fourth of a cup. I'll put in, yeah, like maybe a little bit more than one-fourth of a cup. And I'm going to go ahead and add some flour to it. So let me get some flour. And the reason why I'm doing this, you can move it just the way it is, and that's totally fine. Oh, you know what I forgot? I'm going to add some corn to it, too. Why not? Let me go get that. You definitely can use fresh corn, but I'm going to go ahead and use some from out of the can. Okay, so I got some corn, and I'm going to go ahead and drain out the sauce, or not the sauce, but the liquid from the corn. I'm going to go ahead and drain it real quick. And that's what's cool, like if you have some zucchini, you can go and throw that in there too. Or you have broccoli, throw that in there too if you want to. That's a cool thing. You can do whatever you want to do. You give that a little mix, and it's cool because it's, you see it's getting thicker and thicker and more and more and more. And that's what I want. And we don't need to eat that much meat anyway. It's the perfect thing to say since I don't have any more. But that's how I really feel anyway. Now you'll never know. <laughs> am I saying that because I have no more brown beef? Or am I just saying it because I mean it? Ah, 
the truth is out there. <laughs> but if you watch my other videos, I think you know that, you know, we are a meat eating family. There. So I just put in two cans of it. And here's my chili. This is actually already a little thick. But I think I'm still going to make it a little thicker. And this right here, this is a big piece of meat there. So I'm just rubbing it against... Oh, sorry. I, I'm mixing it. There was a bigger piece of meat. So I just kind of put it against the wall and kind of smashed it up so I could have it um, more distributed. But this is great. And it's showing that I got two minutes left. But you see, I'm still talking and um, making the video. But you can basically have this done in less than 10 minutes. Like you push it, you have everything ready, and you just go ahead and throw it on in. Now I'm planning on thickening it. I'm thinking I, I'd like to thicken it. And I'm going to give it a taste real quick. So I'm going to put some on my hand and just eat a little bit. It tastes very good. I'm going to add a little more chili. I think I'll do another teaspoon. Maybe I'll do two teaspoons. Just depends on how I'm feeling. And I'm feeling like I'm going to do two. Yeah, why not do two? That's fine. So I put two of them in there. I think I'm going to put a little bit more salt in there. So I put half a teaspoon in. So it looks like I'm going to put a full teaspoon of salt in. Put that on in. Boom! Right, there we go. Give it a mix. And you can be able to um, eat these with crackers or, well, you know, you can eat it with a whole bunch of different stuff. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make kind of like an open tuna melt. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to um, have a slice of bread, put the chili on it, put some cheese on it, melt it. Boom! We got dinner. Yes! I don't have to feel like a failure to my family. And I don't have to spend a lot of money going to eat out. So it looks like in total I use, I think I use four pints, I think. You guys are watching the video. I'm all over the place. You know I'm always doing different things. So I think, um, I think that's good. So I have it on medium high. I think I'm going to thicken it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put some flour in it. Look, there's my timer. So it's showing, I, I believe it's 15 minutes, I think. But you see I'm almost basically, you know, that's done. I'm going to put 10 more minutes on though. I'm going to thicken it on up. So, I'm going to go ahead and put in, what do you think, Top? Let me see. I'm going to put in one teaspoon. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. I think I'm going to do two teaspoons. And I'm doing two hefty teaspoons. Well, this one's hefty. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And then let me grab a knife and I'm just going to mix it up. And the main reason why I'm not putting the flour inside of, inside of there is that I don't want it to be lumpy. What I'm doing here is I'm getting all the lumps out of it here instead of inside of the sauce. So I'm just mixing it up, getting out all the lumps. And I think I'm going to add in another one because it is a thicker sauce. I mean, it is a lot more. So I'm putting another hefty teaspoon and I'm going to give it a mix. This is just a thicken it up. And I still have it on medium high. So it should be done very, very soon. And then you can have the little ones, you know, just getting the table ready, grabbing the crackers, grabbing the bowls, setting the table while you make your final touches on the meal. But what I'm doing here, again, if this is, it's actually nice enough, the chili, you see it? I want it just a little thicker though. And that's the cool thing. As a cook, you can make it however it is that you want it. So I'm done with that. I don't see any um, more lumps or anything like that. I got all that out. So now I'm just going to pour it on in here. And within five minutes, it's going to thicken up a little more. So I'm just going to pour this on in. There we go. Yes. And we're going to let the flour do its job of thickening the sauce. And you'll want it to go for like five minutes because if you just took it out like this, like let's say it's hot and it's ready to go and you put flour in it and then you serve it, it's going to have that flour taste. But if you give it like five minutes or at least let it get to a little boil, 
it takes away the taste of it and then it'll just be thickening it so I have that there this is a wood spoon so I can go ahead and leave it in there I have it on medium high I'm a yeah keep it on medium high and um, I'm gonna set the timer for three minutes and we'll be back let's see what what it does all right we'll be back so you can see the consistency of it but you see it's already it looks good but I think this will be enough to feed a family of nine you gotta work things out that's you know that's what we do all right we'll be back okay timer just went off and this is what we're looking at and it hasn't even heated up yet like I don't see any bubbles so I'm gonna let it go for another three minutes Ah, heck, I'll do five minutes, but I'll keep checking on it. Don't leave it. And I got a little impatient, so I actually cut this baby up to high. Of course, you're not supposed to cook on high. I know this, but, you know, they hungry and they want to eat now. So I got to heat this up and I got to hurry up and get them fed so I can hurry up and let them eat. It's important. Can't have it thrown back in my face. It would have been better if we had to eat out or, you know. So. I'm going to go ahead and I'll be back. I'm going to keep checking on it. I may come back and, ooh, it's moving some. So it looks like it's 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 getting there. I do like I Make sure you're watching it, though. You don't want it done burning. Do all this work and your food's burned. And remember, everything's cooked. The only thing you're doing is heating it up, basically. So it's already moving. So I may even do three minutes. So we'll be back. Right now I have the timer set for five minutes. And you already see the steam because I can kind of see it in the camera. Um, it's heating up. It's already starting to move a little bit, too. It's starting to move, which is nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this go for maybe three minutes and we'll be back. See here, I have some hamburger buns. You could use whatever bread you want to use. Let's see if I can set up my camera so it'll just stay so I don't have to hold it. All right, that's good enough. What I'm going to do is I just cut my oven on high. And I'm and you don't have to do this. If, um, this is just what I'm doing for right now. I'm going to plan on toasting the bread. I'm putting a little bit of olive oil on it. And you definitely could, you know, measure how much you're putting on. But basically, I'm just, you know, putting it all around it, toasting it. And I'm going to make it kind of like an open tune of melt. All right. Make sure I get enough olive oil on there. I'm patting it on the other side so I can get a little bit of oil on the bottom. You know, there we go. Good enough. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this inside the oven. It's right on broil. And the broil should take like maybe around two minutes. And then I'm going to put the chili, smother the chili over it. And then after that, then I'm going to um, put cheese on it. And it's going to be a chili melt is what I'm doing. And it's been, let me see what we're at. We have 47, 47 seconds left on the clock. It's bubbling now. Let me get you back there so you can see that. All right, so it's bubbling. There, you can see it. I'm going to give it a little, oops, kind of moving around on me. Give it a little um, stir and keep stirring it. Not a constant stir, 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 but you know, stir it so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. Ah, uh, let me see if I can get the camera to stay so I can stir it without it moving. Let me move this out the way. You know, I always have other projects going. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I can I can hold the handle. And I can give it a good little stir. This is done. This is done. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it down, put it on low. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put the things under there. If they're hungry right now, they can just grab a bowl with some crackers and eat it. You can put some um, Parmesan cheese on it. You know, any just some cheese on it. Put some sour cream on it. Um, whatever you want to put on it. And, you know, it's ready. It is ready. And it's not a whole lot thicker. So I could have added more, but when you strike it more to the top, it is a little more thicker, which is nice. So there you go. That's done there. So let me go ahead and toast the bread. So it's been a minute and third and a minute and forty-five seconds. It's darker than what I would have wanted, but it's fine. It's darker than what I would have wanted. That's okay. Just gonna put two of them down. Let me see me plate it. Let me move these on out the way. It's a little hot, so I gotta use my pot holder. Move that out the way. And I'll just let you see me plate this one. There we go. So there it is, a little crunchy there. Hmm, I got a debate, because it is crunchy there. I think I'm just gonna put it in a bowl and put the cheese over it. And the reason why I think I'm gonna do that I don't want the bread to be too soggy. 
if the sauce was thicker, I think I would maybe smother it over it. But I think, I don't think I want to do that. So let me put those there. And I'm just going to do one cup of chili. And then I'm going to put the cheese right on over it. So there we go. So one cup of chili. There we go. One cup of chili. There we go. Yep. Put that aside. Okay. I can see the chili. Make sure you give it a stir because it's not the the one I just gave was not as thick as it could have been because more of it went to the bottom. That's all right though. The sauce tastes delicious. So I'm just getting some sandwich cheese. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on. And the sauce is so hot that it's just going to automatically melt the cheese. So it's fine. And if you want to omit the cheese, of course. Do what you want. You're cooking it. So that's there. And there's our meal. It's a, it wasn't as quick because I was kind of doing different things or whatever, but it can go fast. And it beats eating out. So there we go. There's the meal right there. And then you can already see it's kind of melting. So I'll just go ahead and mix it in. And we have our great chili. It's perfect. And then you can be able to grab the bread and it can still be crunchy and dip it in. All right. So there we go. And then we can be able to have our side salad with it. And this is perfect. And this takes care of kind of the, a lot of what I wanted to do. You know, I have the meat. I have the vegetable because you have the corn in there. And then I have my beans in there. Um, so that's perfect. And then my starch, you know, here's the bread. So I still hit all my marks. And this is, that's basically it. Now before I go, I always like to say thank you. On behalf of your friends, family, and loved ones, we say thank you for all the hard work you do. You work really hard and you don't have to. You could be doing so many other great things with your time, but instead, you spend your time making us great food, doing things for us, and we appreciate it so, so much. Thanks and God bless.